I got this person, this individual's permission to share this Q and A on my blog, but since most people are not on my blog, I think I'll just drop it across my social media. So those that are blessed enough to come across it will, and um, maybe you get something out of it on a spiritual level. So here is our Q and A. The reader asks, it is described that anyone who partakes the mark of the beast will be destroyed down to their very essence. I wanted to know if there was any technology capable of destroying the spirit. If there is, is there any way to save your soul from non-existence? So my answer, and bear with me guys, I am reading from my blog. In the book series, I do mention the Large Hadron Collider, which is the world's most powerful particle accelerator that we the public are privy to. Also, there's a brief explanation of CRISPR technology, which is new gene editing and modifying technology you can learn more about with a Google search. As I state in New Age Bible of Mother Africa, everything that exists has already existed. There is no new technologies. I am strong advocate for intelligent design. So. Here we have two technologies known to the public that are capable of breaking us down to our molecular essence and changing our DNA entirely. So short answer to your question, yes. I do believe there is knowledge of how to destroy spiritual energy. Supposedly, Trump's regime was trying to establish a regulation called the secret science rule in order to make scientific research more transparent to the public. Of course, such a thing did not pass. It never was going to. Thanks to the internet and conspiracy theories, which some are true, people are becoming more concerned about government secrets and cover-ups and how underground research is going to affect humans and earth in the near future. In African spirituality, there is a correlation between consciousness and spirit. Considering there has been research done on the possibilities of transferring consciousness, and even digitizing it, I wouldn't be surprised if they found a way to do so a long time ago. The movie Avatar is an example of how such science and technology would work, through, though publicly it would be deemed unethical and sacrilegious. Is there a way to save your soul from non-existence? I share your concern. It's a horrifying perspective. Save yourself by knowing yourself and seeing the world for how it truly is, even if you don't like what you see. These are words I live by, and it's brought me a deep insight into the universe most people will never have. These may sound like empty words, but they're purposeful and tangible. You've read my book and it opened your eyes where some people would be put off by such overwhelming information that upends their reality. As I state in my book, not everything is meant for everyone. Knowledge, knowing that there are forces out to destroy is your weapon against it. Your awareness will keep you safe. Consider how many people on this planet would not care nor think to even inquire on what you have. You are already enlightened beyond 90% of this world. Stay strong and continue your research. The more you know, the better to safeguard your essence from the dangers in this world. Evil is cowardice. It hides, manipulates, and lies. The fact you are one of the few aware of the true threats has already saved you. Thanks for listening, everybody. Let me know what you think in the comments and Ashe. Ashe is a word that means life force or life energy, similar to the concept of prana in Sanskrit or chi in Asia. Each person comes into this life with a certain dire amount of life force, which can be increased or decreased throughout our lives, depending on our choices.